An estimated 7 million people with disabilities are displaced by war, persecution, or generalized violence. They are especially at risk in crises. Leave no one behind. Persons with disabilities in crises. Mohammed, an 18-year-old Syrian refugee, now lives in Germany. He lost his legs in a Syrian airstrike. In 2015, he sought refuge in Europe. We risked our lives in the rubber boat, but we made it to Greece. My cousin carried me all the way to Turkey. We tried to do the impossible, bring him to Germany no matter what it takes. People with disabilities face added risks of abandonment, neglect, and lack access to food, health care, and education. Hind has a visual disability and lives in war-torn Yemen. My life was completely changed by the war. Everything became difficult. Going to school, getting treatment, or going anywhere is difficult. Indiscriminate attacks in Yemen killed thousands of civilians. Many of the three million people with disabilities are virtually imprisoned in their homes. Because of the war and my condition, I'm not able to go out anymore. Amboise was displaced by deadly sectarian violence in the Central African Republic. The rebels killed people like it was nothing. They beat people. People were suffering. My whole family fled our home. I was alone in the house. A kid had just passed by. I said, please help me. If you leave me, I will die. He carried me on his back two, three kilometers to the camp. People with disabilities continue to face unique challenges in meeting their most basic needs, even after they flee to safety. Here, it's different than home. Even to get soap to wash our clothes isn't easy. You see how dirty I am from my pants to my feet. Samplice lives in the same camp as Amboise. He was a professor of French literature before the conflict. We, people with disabilities, have trouble getting around to find something to eat. In the camp, there are enormous difficulties because, as you know, people with disabilities are often forgotten. Kauthar, a Syrian refugee in Lebanon, struggles to get accessible education for her son, Wael. He has physical and intellectual disabilities resulting from Hunter syndrome. He failed a grade at school. Now he's in the same grade as his younger brother. No one at school would give him special care because of his condition. His only weapon is education. I like school. I love to read. I love going to school. It is the most important thing. I have a nightmare about his future. In my dream, I see my son sitting in a corner and not doing anything at all. Nothing at all. When this conflict began, we, people with disabilities, we stuck together. A national para-basketball team in the Central African Republic. We all share the experience of living with disabilities. That powerful bond has made us like a family. Governments, the UN, aid agencies and donors should ensure that people with disabilities are included 
in humanitarian response. And persons with disabilities and their representative organizations should be part of the decision-making, planning, and monitoring in the spirit of nothing about us without us. Leave no one behind.